All right, let's talk bantamweight. So a few moving parts here. First off, I do have a question. Who is Cejudo going to fight next? And Cejudo seems to be throwing the venom around, but quite frankly, everybody he's thrown some venom at is pretty interesting fight. I mean, whether that was Frankie Edgar or Uriah Faber, and I'm going back a little bit, but he did say Uriah's name, whether that was Jose Aldo, everywhere he's got Dominic Cruz, everywhere Henry's looked, I'm interested in. And it isn't perfect for the rankings, but it satisfies a lot of other criteria. And I think that Henry has made it very clear to us, I'm looking for a big fight. I think he's made that clear to us by sacrificing and surrendering a world championship at 125 pounds because he didn't feel like that fight was down there. So I think when Henry is willing to give something up, he should be given something. I don't think you could just bring him into 135 pounds and offer him an opponent, sit somebody down at the table who Henry looks across from and doesn't recognize, or Henry doesn't believe you guys are going to recognize. And I know there's something that doesn't sit well with the fans. When the fighter refuses somebody and wants somebody else because he says it's bigger, I get where that doesn't sit well. And we would like it from more of a competitive nature. I'm just here to offer and to remind you, calling out guys like Dominic Cruz is not Henry looking for an easy night. Henry's being very forthcoming with his intentions to the fact that he was punished. I mean, giving up a a world championship, could you imagine being the world champion, but now you're not, but you never lost? You lost it it in the boardroom. I mean, it's a very real thing within this sport, but to act as though that didn't hurt or act as though that wasn't a sacrifice by Henry because he sees a bigger vision for himself. Look, he lost something. He should be able to gain something now. And if all that he wants is a really hard-ass fight, but he wants it with a guy that people are going to recognize, I think that you have to listen to that a little bit. Now, Marlon fought Aldo. Marlon beat Aldo. It was a very controversial decision. He beat Aldo. Aldo called out Cejudo, and now Marlon is furious about it. Marlon couldn't believe it, thought it was an underhanded move. How can you, a guy... I just had a fair fight with, I won under the unified rules, fair and square. How can you then try to take the spot that I just earned? I think that's an okay statement by Marlon, but not to the point that he's upset, actually upset with Aldo. It seems like fair game by Aldo. I mean, it really does. This is one sport. You take what you can get. Aldo was called out by the champ. Dana White was answered the question and didn't hate the idea. In fact, that might even been Dana's words. I don't hate that fight. I remind said, I like that fight. Very non-committal, but there seemed to be a door that was open there. And for Jose Aldo to try to bang it down, all the while armed with the fact that Henry would like to fight him. That Henry went as far as to say, look, Aldo, you won that fight. Now, I realize that's not what the record books say. I'm just telling you how the story goes. And to make believe that Aldo did anything wrong, I think is a little bit of a leap. Then you've, of course, got Peter Yawn. Now, Peter Yan's skills and his record are undeniable. They cannot be refuted. But if Yan doesn't meet one of the criteria that Henry personally has, if Henry just thinks, look, you're not big, go get big enough, and I'm in. I'm just talking about what's next for me. I'm saying you're not next for me. I'm not saying I won't fight you. I'm saying you've just done recently a great job of becoming a more of a household that go do one more. And I think we've got something here. But next for me personally, on a personal note, Henry Cejudo, I'm looking for a guy who people are going to recognize who people want to see me fight. Mm. I think that that's very fair when you look at the names that he's suggesting. And when Dominic Cruz is one of those names, look, Dominic Cruz came out and he served himself very well to say, Henry Cejudo cannot call himself the GOAT until he beats me. This is and always has been my division. Ask anybody who came to it all the way down to Demetrius Johnson himself. At 135 pounds stands one man in people's mind, and it's Dominic Cruz. I thought that was a very good statement. I thought it was a good statement because it's the truth that hurts. Dominic is using the truth on his side. Henry could catch him. Henry could surpass him, but he will have a little bit of miles to do. I think that it's just a fair and truthful statement. Feel free to debate it. Feel free to argue, but I think it served Dominic well. And I'm wondering, I'm not here to answer a question, guys. I'm here to ask a question. What is next for Henry? And what is the holdup? And I realize he hurt his arm, but that was a while ago. He's recovered from that. 
What is the holdup there? Are there names that are being offered to him that he's saying no to, or is he still healing? Is he still looking for the right opponent? I don't know the answers, but I am curious. I don't think that 135 pounds has ever had more good, viable options. I really don't think it has. Plus, you've got Garbrandt re-signed, Garbrandt coming back, Garbrandt former world champion, Garbrandt it factor to the highest. Of, people want to see Cody Garbrandt. He needs to go grab a win, possibly two. But what's going on with Henry? I love where 135's at. 135's never in better, been in better hands. What's Henry doing next?